congratulations, you now have an updated flash on your ECU. Now, here's the thing. All of these warnings that are on the dash, um, it takes time for the vehicle to learn that it's not broken. Um, you know, that the sensors are not destroyed, things like that. So a quick thing that you want to do, um, notice all the, the indicators on there. So I'm just going to power it off. And this time I'm actually going to start the vehicle. So foot on the brake, start it up. Cool. So most of those indicators went away. Now, when it comes to your adaptive cruise control, um, you're going to see right here, it says, it says right here, brake system warning, um, auto high beams, collision, collision mitigation, things like that. So again, those sensors, they need to learn that they're not broken. So um, I'm not even joking about this. As soon as you, you drive your first probably 500 feet, they all go away. Everything returns to green. Um, no problem whatsoever. So don't freak out about that. Um, it, it's not like an hour or two hours before everything fixes itself. You're not going to have to go to the dealership. Um, you literally just have to drive 500 feet so the sensors know that they're working and then boom, um, no issue. And I'll show you guys here in a second. Now let's go back to this uh, K-Tuner. So I'm going to go through the process of updating mine. So I'm going to change my gauges. So you do that up here in the K. You go to your gauges and it's going to give you the different uh, layouts. Um, for right now, let's just choose this bottom left one. And you can see when you hit the gas, I mean, it gives you real-time data. Um, you can change these layouts. So going by layout over here, you can choose what you want for item one. So let's do air intake temperature for item two. Let's do wideband item three. Let's do the map because I do want to know what my PSI is right here um, item four we're gonna leave that item five right here is our ECT we want to leave that alone and then I like to put my gear here because unless I'm in um, sport mode I don't know what gear it's in so it's really good to have that if you don't want to drive around you know boosting the maximum amount of boost all the time um, if you're like me and you just like to drive in the normal driving mode which is in this particular uh, tune you get a lot of horsepower it's still nice to know what gear you're in just in case you want to use you know the manual paddles and if you haven't used the manual paddles use them every once in a while because it's really it's really nice to get that exhaust note um, but that's pretty much it guys so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna buckle up um, I'm gonna show you how to get these gauges and warnings to go away and then uh, I'm gonna head out about my day all right so I'm all buckled up check this out we're gonna go to drive all of my warnings are still on K tuner is going real good I'm just gonna drive around my block that way you guys can see it that way I'm not out not on any sort of uh, main arterial road windows down a little bit that way see if you guys can hear anything different and again I'm not gonna stomp on the gas or anything while I'm waiting for these to reset I'm just gonna drive real slow and bingo there we have it so all of them disappeared um, you now have normal gauge cluster display. You don't have to worry about any of those warnings coming up, um, and they won't come up after the fact. So in the meantime, that's pretty much it. Um, enjoy your K-Tuner. more power um, and if you guys have any questions or comments anything like that um, let me know down in the comments 
I'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, this is actually the second time that I loaded this K-Tune to my vehicle. Um, obviously, you know, you don't want any errors, things like that. Uh, so I wanted to make sure to, to do a quick run through before I instructed you guys on how to do that. Anybody that's, that's giving instruction should at least know what they're doing before giving instructions. So um, if you have any questions, concerns, maybe you, you messed up in a step, um, let me know. It happens. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, otherwise, uh, enjoy the tune, guys. And, and let me just say one last thing. For those of you that are kind of hesitant on whether or not you want to get the K-Tune, um, this thing is is freaking night and day, okay? Uh, once you put on that tune, the Stage 2 tune, this thing's like a rocket ship. Um, there are times where it's in second, third uh, gear, and it's trying to break free uh, on the road. It's got so much torque. Um, it's not really a really good day out here right now. You can see it's kind of overcast. It's rainy outside, so it's kind of hard for me to show you guys what I'm talking about without, uh, you know, being reckless. I will put it into sport mode. Um, I will go down the road fairly quickly. That way you can kind of see what I'm doing. But let me tell you this, man. K-Tuner has, you know, they've done the research. They went through R&D. They put all kinds of money in this, into this uh, tuner so that you guys were happy. And I'll tell you what, man. You guys are going to be ecstatic when you guys put this tune on. So, 35 miles an hour. Um, I'm just going to hit the gas and we're just going to go. stage 2.0 although they have altered you know the boost um, and your torque specs in each one of those modes the shifting characteristics are the exact same okay so when you're in sport mode it does quicker shifting when you're in eco mode you have these long lengthy shifts um, because it's designed to save fuel so those characteristics uh, characteristic characteristics geez did not change so don't freak out if you do your your tune and you're like it does not feel like it should feel in eco mode because the shifting characteristics are the same at least from what I felt I mean maybe K, K tuner could chime in I mean I don't know why they would uh, change the characteristics of that but it's the exact same. So I, I love driving around in just regular mode. Um, I did that before I got the K-Tuner, and even now it's just, you know, you get the best of both worlds. Um, if you drive around, like I'm driving around right now in sport, you can see how the RPMs just kind of hang with you, almost like if you're in a six-speed manual. Um, I have the 10-speed automatic. I have not noticed any issues with the transmission, um, I, I've had it for, you know, not too long, um, so it's still kind of new for me to say anything like that, but I'm happy with it, um, and I know that you guys will be more than happy with it as well, so give it a try, um, I'll tell you guys what, this will, this will be one of the best investments that you'll make, um, I do have other modifications that I'm making to the vehicle, so right now my garage is packed with different items that I'm about to put on this vehicle, um, and maybe I will take a, a quick picture and show you guys at the end of this video. That way you guys can take a peek and see what I have for it. Uh, but I'm excited to, you know, to go forward and test these products out and, and you know, go through this process together. Because one of the things that I do, you know, I learn from YouTube. You know, I'm not going to necessarily buy something if, if, you know, it's it doesn't have a really good review. So, um, you know, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know more than happy to answer any of them. 